this is Mahesh Panchagnula. I'm a professor of uh, fluid mechanics in the Department of Applied Mechanics at IIT Madras. Uh, for the past five years, we've been kind of researching the problem of uh, mechanics of a breathing lung. What happens when you breathe in air? And along with the air, if you were to breathe in aerosol particles, where do those aerosol particles go? Uh, so in order to gain, look at this problem, let me walk you through what the lung looks like. Uh, what you see here in the picture is a CT image of, a, of the uh, left lung and the right lung. You see the trachea, the two bronchi that branch into the lungs and the intricate uh, inner bronchi structure. Uh, uh, of the of in the lung while this is what is actually visible in a CT image in reality this is what the real lung looks like uh, you see a very intricate bracket branching structure going almost 23 generations of branching ending in these terminal bronchioles so an aerosol particle entering through the trachea uh, needs to find its way to the deep lung for it to be infectious while this is our body's natural um, uh, mechanism of protecting us from, uh, from diseased particles, it also is important for us to understand the fate of these aerosol particles in a typical bronchiole uh, near the deep lung. So towards that end, we've uh, simulated these bronchioles um, and to understand the deposition characteristics in a typical bronchiole, we simulated a, uh, the same in a desktop experiment. And what we find is that as the diameter of the bronchiole increases, or if the breathing rate were to decrease, the deposition rate increases. Now, these are parameters that could be different from individual to individual. So in fact, intersubject variability is, uh, is quite prevalent, but poorly understood. And uh, that probably explain, explains why some of us are more susceptible to airborne diseases while others seem a little more immune. Well, of course, there's a biological aspect to that immunity. We're also interested in investigating the morphometric aspects, the dimensional aspects of that uh, immunity. Lastly, I want to conclude by talking about uh, a very important accessory that protects us, uh, a face mask that is very crucial and very important to controlling the spread of COVID-19. As we, as I speak to you, I am generating billions of aerosol particles uh, during the course of this uh, speech. Uh, and if I were to be wearing a mask, all of those aerosol particles would not be produced. The actual production and emission into the atmospheric air would be reduced by several orders of magnitude. So please wear a mask, protect those around you, protect your loved ones around you and also be protected from people around who could be coughing, sneezing and producing aerosol particles that could be infectious. Thank you and stay safe.